This is a 58-year-old female with chronic nasal obstruction in Haig, centered in the left sphenoid sinus region with invasion into the basal sphenoid on the left and extension into the left petrous apex region. There is a T1 hypo-intense, T2 flare hyper-intense, solid and cystic enhancing mass, which does not restrict diffusion. The mass extends to the distal petrous carotid canal, where there is greater than 180 degrees encasement of the left internal carotid artery without narrowing of its flow void. The lesion invades and enlarges the left cavernous sinus with elevation of the overlying dural surface. There are also inspissated secretions within the right sphenoid sinus region. The differential diagnosis includes nasopharyngeal carcinoma, carcinoma of the minor salivary glands, such as adenoid cystic carcinoma, lymphoma, and chondrosarcoma. The final diagnosis was high-grade adenoid cystic carcinoma of the left sphenoid sinus. Adenoid cystic carcinoma can be considered low-grade. Adenoid cystic carcinoma is considered to be low-grade when it is well-defined versus high-grade when it is more infiltrative. It can involve the submandibular and sublingual salivary glands, lacrimal glands, nasopharynx, and hard palate. Both low and high grade tumors can demonstrate perineural spread of disease on histologic section. This is a tumor which has arisen in a minor salivary gland tissue in the nasopharynx in this case.